everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is for the August Hella Heme Creations. Um, I have quite a few really fun things to share with you all. Um, I apologize, this video up is going up a little bit later than I had anticipated that it would. Um, I will have all of the sale information down in the description box if you don't know what Hella Heme Creations is. Um, and also I will have a link to my blog post where I have swatch photo comparisons and um, also swatch photos of some returning polishes coming to the overpour section. And stay tuned to the end. I've got some fun videos of chickens and pigs. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get into the video because I'm feeling very chatty and you guys want to see swatches. First up, we have Alter Ego. Alter Ego is continuing their theme of bearded irises and they're bringing chocolate ecstasy bearded iris. This one is described as a duochrome base with a gold shimmer and a slight purplish tint. It will be $10 for 17 ml and has a cap of 50 bottles. This polish had a really great formula. It was surprisingly opaque. Um, this is going to be a two to three coater depending on personal preference. I am showing it here in two coats, but I believe on my other nails I actually did three coats. I was not seeing a difference between the two coats on my middle nail and three coats on the other nails. So definitely two to three coater depending on personal preference. So this polish went on very smoothly. It didn't feel overly thick or thin and the gold shimmer had some very slight brush strokes in it. This polish reminded me a lot of Warrior from the April Polish Gamers box. I will insert a comparison of the two here. They are a little similar, but I feel like they give very different looks on the nail. I will have um, a side-by-side -side swatch comparison over on my blog post on NicoleLovesNails.com. Next up is BCB Lacquers with Menagerie Galaxy. BCB Lacquers is continuing their Galaxy theme. This one is described as a sapphire blue polish with a violet shimmer, a red shimmer, and green gold micro flakes with a touch of hollow. It's priced at $13 for 16.5 ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. This polish had a really great formula. It didn't feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues other than accidentally polishing my hair in into the polish right here. <laughs> So in person, I was seeing a red and a green color shift in this polish. For some reason, I could not get that to show in my swatch photos for the life of me. Um, I kind of got it in the, in the live swatch video here, but I feel like I was still seeing a bit more color than what was coming up on camera. So this polish was very opaque. I think shorter nails could definitely be good in one coat. Um, I'm gonna go in for two coats. I did go in for a slightly thicker second coat on my middle nail, but my other nails, I went in for two normal coats and it was opaque. Since this is so opaque, I would highly, highly, highly recommend wearing base coat, potentially doubling up on base coat if you have natural nails that are prone to staining. I did not experience any staining, but just something to keep in mind. Nothing in here will dry down textured or be difficult to remove. Next up, we have Bees Knees Lacquer with Where's the Gift Shop? This one is inspired by Ghost Adventures and described as a deep turquoise with a black and multi-chrome shimmer and hollow flakies. It's priced at $12.50 and has no cap. Where's the Gift Shop had a really great formula. It didn't feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues. The dark turquoise base plays so nicely with the black turd multi-chrome pigment. It gives it a very um, blue toned color shift to all of the colors in it. The flakies in this all spread out evenly and easily on their own and do not give off any texture. This polish had really great coverage in two coats. I did still have some light spots so I went in for three coats. If you don't have much of a free edge to speak of, you could definitely get away with two coats. However, the third coat does deepen the color to what you see in the bottle. This polish is extremely pigmented, so I would highly recommend wearing a base coat to prevent staining. I did not personally experience any staining. And here is a super quick side-by-side -side comparison of this month's polish compared to April's polish, Stop Beeping. I will have a swatch photo comparison over on my blog post. They are not dupes. Next up is Chirality with Listen All Y'all, It's a Spanish Shawl. This one is inspired by Aliens of the Deep and it's described as a violet jelly polish overflowing with bright orange flakes. It's priced at $12 for 15 ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. And side note, for weeks it has been bugging me trying to think of what the, the name of this polish is in reference to. I finally figured it out, it's Beastie Boy Sabotage. I can't believe it took me this long to figure this one out. 
Anyway, this polish had a good formula. It was slightly on the thicker side, but it was super humid the day I was swatching this one, so I believe that would be why I did not need to add thinner or anything like that. It wasn't so thick that it was unworkable. It was just slightly on the thicker side. Um, other than that, no application issues. This one is going to want to be built up in three coats to get the most opacity as well as to get a nice dark color that you see in the bottle. Orange flakes spread out evenly and easily on their own and they do not dry down textured. Um, nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove and I did not experience any staining. Just to note, there will be some visible nail line in the, with this polish in three coats. Next up is Color Spectrum Polish continuing their Bob Marley theme. This polish is called when it hits you, you feel no pain, and it's described as a bright yellow with a gold to green shifting shimmer along with red and green hollow glitters. It's priced at $12 for 13 ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. This polish had a really fantastic formula. It didn't feel overly thick or thin, and I did not have any application issues. Um, so Shannon always does an amazing job with yellows, and they have been some of my favorite this past year. And this polish is not an exception to that rule. This one was really beautiful. And the red and green glitters, um, this doesn't seem like a Christmassy type of polish, even though there has red and green glitters in it. Like, I feel like it's a very um, summery type of polish, in my opinion. So the shimmer in this is very strong. I was seeing both the gold and the green. The glitters spread out evenly on their own and do not dry down textured. To get the best opacity, I would recommend this being a three-coater on pretty much everyone. You will have some visible nail line on some angles. It is slightly on the sheer side, but the shimmer does largely distract from that. And here is my sweet boy, Sammy. He is very shy and he usually does not go outside. So I was very surprised that he wanted to join me on the porch. <laughs> um, so yeah, nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove. Um, no issues with staining either. Next up, we have Heather's Hughes with I'm Sorry and Lydia. Uh, so Heather's Hughes is continuing their Handmaid's Tale theme and they were inspired by the one and only Aunt Lydia. This one is described as a muted smoky lavender with a pink to gold to green shimmer, iridescent flakies, multi-chrome flakies, and a small hint of neon pink glitters. It's priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a great formula. It was slightly thinner than I was expecting, but it did not feel overly thin at all. The base color is this beautiful grayed out lavender, which is always a favorite of mine. And this polish has like a ton of flakies in it, which was why I thought it'd be a little bit thicker than it was, but it had a great consistency. Um, the neon pink glitters in this do not dry down textured at all. They are super, super small. I think this one is going to be a two to three coater depending on personal preference. I found that the third coat does deepen the color just a tiny bit, but you could definitely get away with two coats if you wanted. And here is a quick comparison of this polish compared to Hop To It from last year's August Duo. Next up is Linby Designs with Fashion Armadillo. Linby Designs is continuing their animal magnetism theme, and this one is described as a darkened, rusty, black-based magnetic with a red to yellow shift, linear hollow, and hollow flakies. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. This polish had a really great formula. I know I sound like a broken record, um, but I have been really enjoying magnetic polishes lately ever since I got that ring magnet, and Linby Designs keeps making really fun magnetic polishes. This one is on the more opaque side, so you will only need two coats for full opacity. Here you can see me using the ring magnet. I'm trying to hold it in a way that I don't need to actually hold um, the magnet anymore <laughs> because I am still pretty lazy apparently. Um, so for this one, the magnetic effect, um, it was a little bit harder to get out. I did mention it to the maker and they plan on tweaking the formula a little bit to make it easier to get the magnetic effect out on the nail. Even with the difficulties, this was a beautiful, beautiful polish. Um, look at those color shifts. This was just absolutely stunning. Very color shifty, super holographic. Nothing in here is going to dry down textured or be difficult to remove, and I also did not experience any staining. Next up, we have Music City Beauty with Canary Yellow. This one is a new series to the brand. They are having a rainbow bright theme. So this one is described as a yellow curly polish with a scattered holographic and gold shimmer. It's capped at 150 bottles. This had a beautiful curly formula. Formula wise to me, it felt somewhere between a curly and a cream. 
it self leveled really nicely and especially for a yellow this applied really well didn't feel finicky at all but you also don't want to overwork it too much um, so this was just a tiny bit patchy on me in two coats. I think this has the potential to be a two coater on shorter nails, but I went in for three coats. This polish is like sunshine in a bottle. I found that it kind of photographed a little bit greenish, but this is definitely like a yellow yellow. The shimmer in this one is not quite delicate, but I found it a little difficult to photograph. The holographic element did not want to play with my lighting, so I can't really speak on that, but this is a gorgeous polish. Um, nothing in here dry down textured or nothing will be difficult to remove. I did not experience any staining. Next up, we have Night Owl Lacquer with Psych. Night Owl Lacquer is starting a new series based on the TV show Psych. This polish is described as a bright green crelly with various white glitters and a lime slash gold iridescent micro glitter. Priced at $12 and has no cap. This polish had a really great formula. Um, I did not have any issues with this one. This polish is super, super, super bright. This is a bright neon green polish. Um, this one does glow under black lighting. I'll have a little shot of that at the end of the live swatch. Um, so the glitters in this all spread out evenly and easily on their own. I did not need to hold the bottle upside down between coats. I got really great coverage very easily. I will note this was just slightly on the thicker side. I didn't have any hard time with application, but I kept misjudging how much polish I had on my brush, so I had to dip back in there to get more. As I mentioned, this one is super bright. Here it is under um, black light. I got a new black light and it is extremely strong, so sorry for the glare will be a two to three coater depending on personal preference. Shorter nails will probably be good in two coats. This does dry down textured so I did use two coats of top coat to completely smooth it out. Um, removal will be on the tricky side just due to all those glitters. I would highly recommend soaking this one off. Next up is Pretty Beautiful Unlimited with Electric Glow. Pretty Beautiful Unlimited is continuing their cosmic bowling theme and this polish is described as a lime green jelly base with unicorn pigment, spectra flare, and a mix of three different crystal chameleon flakies, sapphire and chartreuse micro glitters, and a glow in the dark pigment. It's priced at $12 for 15 ml and has a cap of 150 bottles. This polish had a really great formula. As you heard from the description, it has a ton of different components in it and it did not feel thick at all. The green base is very bright. And the flakies and the holographic just looks so amazing in this one. When you get it out into the sun, you're going to see that holographic really just punch you in the face. And the flakies look fantastic in low light. And then, of course, the glow-in-the-dark pigment charged with the UV light looks absolutely amazing in the dark. This is super, super glowy. I thoroughly enjoyed this polish. This is going to be one of my top picks this month. This one really has it all. So I think this one is going to be a solid three quarter, very short nails, or if you don't mind visible nail line, you might be good in two coats. The third coat does seem to deepen the color just a smidge. Nothing in here dry down textured or will be difficult to remove. And the final polish is by Red Eyed Blacker, and this one is called Not A Sound. Red Eyed Blacker is continuing their Eric Carl theme, and this one is described as a purple jelly base with a green to purple shifting multi-chrome shimmer and hollow micro flakies. It's priced at $12.50 for 13 ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. This polish had a really great jelly formula. It didn't feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues. The shimmer in this is so strong and very glowy and the hollow flakies are super holographic and do not dry textured. Uh, this one is on the sheer side so you're going to want to build this one up in three coats for best opacity. You can definitely use this one as a topper over a variety of colors um, or over a visible nail line blurring base coat. One coat of top coat will give you a nice glossy shine. Nothing in here dry down textured or will be overly difficult to remove and I did not experience any staining. And that is everything. So the Hella Hime Creation Shop is open right now. I just popped up a picture of some of the overpours that I previously swatched. I will have a link to that blog post in the description box. Let's just look at these videos of the chickens and some pigs. And thank you all for watching. Have a great week. Bye! Hey Camo! You're gonna go get some snacks. She looks so cute with uh, the red. Say hello!
You are so cute. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the snacks, it's all empty. <laughs>